All right, hello once again. This is Jeff Scott of Blackhawk Technical College. I've been going over our book, Sam's Teach Yourself Bootstrap in 24 Hours for the 152-158 Advanced Website Development Class for the Fall 2016 Semester. I'm up to Chapter 19, Collapse and Accordion. Before we go through this, just so you know, just so you see this, I am in the middle of producing another one of the, the presentation that I just did. So once that presentation is done being produced, what's going to happen then, whoops, what's going to happen then is I'm going to get a screen that comes up. So don't let that startle you or anything. It'll be fine. I'll have to take about 30 seconds after that's done to quickly, and I should have already had it up, upload this to YouTube. All right, and I'll do that at that time. I guess I gotta cancel here, there we go. All right, so we have again four objectives in this hour or in this chapter. We wanna learn how to create a collapsible section, how to use the collapse plugin to build an accordion, how to create an accordion menu, how to hack bootstrap to build a horizontal collapsible section. I really kind of like chapters 19 and 20, maybe the best two out of the book, because they're the most graphical. All right, this chapter talks about, um, again, collapse and, and accordions. The next chapter talks about carousels. So I think that more than most any other chapter that's in here, all right, you can take a look and see what's going on and have a much better idea. So in this hour, you learn to create collapsible section of a website using the Collapse plugin. This allows you, as mentioned there, to create sections that can be shown or hidden on the click of a link or a button. One way to use that is with an accordion. We've all seen accordions before. Again, typically you use an accordion with an FAQ page. So very quickly, because I don't want to waste time here, but if I do show you this, let's see. List tables, topography, hopefully I, if I do this, I'll find it. There you go. Creating an accordion widget with Bootstrap. So these are the examples that I showed you before. These are the ones from tutorialrepublic.com. So again, there are 223 scripts in there. You have all those scripts. All right. So just like every other Bootstrap, Bootstrap plugin, you get the collapsing functions automatically when you add the full bootstrap.js file. If you do only want that, you can just add the collapse.js, okay? And you'll need to install the transition plugin that we talked about in the last chapter. So add an element, as it says, with an ID that you want to show or hide. It's normally a div, but it can be anything. So in this example, we've got a section in here that's got to read more. You see that a lot on websites. All right, you click it and it gets more information. You get the hide and it comes back and it looks like this. And how are we doing that? Again, we're doing that through the use of a collapsible section. All right, is this the best example of that? No, I like the FAQ example better, but I think it does probably make pretty much sense to you as far at least as what's going on in here. Because the Collapse plugin works on the IDs, you can collapse almost anything as long as it has a unique ID. You can also create multiple buttons that toggle the same element. You can't collapse paragraphs. Whoops, this is what I mentioned to you. So, Fairly proficient at this. Hopefully you agree with that. Whoops. So the author says in her testing, she has found that you cannot collapse paragraphs or table cells. To be strictly accurate, it says I could set the collapse class on them and they would disappear, but I could not get them to reappear using a toggle type of thing. 
So if you're planning on collapsing things other than divs, sections, articles, or other HTML5 sectioning elements, make sure you test it correctly. Well, that's nothing new. You should be testing everything anyway. In the next example, they create a toggle link for a blog post. Again, we've got a long post here. So the author comes in and says, basically, let's add something where we only show a certain... You know, maybe you've heard of this before, that sometimes on a website, on a main page, or really you can put it on any page, you'll have what's typically referred to as a teaser. And what the teaser is, basically, is it just shows you some information, tries to pique your interest, and get it to where you want to take a look, read a little more, see a little more, do a little more, etc. That's the idea behind it. And using a collapse section is very good for something like that. As it says, when you create a collapsible section, Bootstrap uses three classes to create the change. Collapse to hide the content, collapse in, and collapsing. All right, so notice collapse in. These two classes combined show the content. So if you want your collapsible element to start with an open, use collapse in. Collapsing is applied during the transition between when you're showing something and hiding it. The default collapse is vertical, but Bootstrap has support for the width class within the collapse.js plugin, so you can create a horizontal type of collapse also. Okay. As mentioned here, there are two options that you can use with a collapse plugin. This is the bottom of page 316. They are parent. Notice it's a Boolean or true-false that takes the selector of the parent element to create a style of accordion. The default is true. And there's toggle. All right, another Boolean that toggles the collapsible element on invocation, which again, the default is true. As far as the collapse methods, notice there's four. Collapse with options to activate the content as a collapsible element. And then our old familiar toggle, show, and hide. There's collapse events. Notice there's show and shown, hide and hidden. So as something is being shown or as it, you are hiding it, after it's already been collapsed or after it's already been hidden. Okay? So here's your typical FAQ type of thing where you can take and click on any one of these tabs. We've learned how to do this in jQuery. We'll look at, a, get, at it again next semester in the ASP.NET class. So you can use this in a lot of different ways. Basically, as it says there, anything that uses some kind of an FAQ page. So they have you build an example of this on pages 318, 319, and 320. And then they show you the actual code that goes along with it on 321 and 322. Now, I've already shown you one of these. All right, over here. So you've already seen that. And there are several examples of this. All right, expanding and collapsing elements. <clears throat> and there's more. The bootstrap toggle, bootstrap show, bootstrap hide. So these are really good examples I think you should be looking at to try to reinforce the stuff that you're learning in the textbook. All right. Using accordions as navigation. This is in the book on page 320 on the bottom of the page, and it goes on to 321, 322, and 323. As it says, accordions are often used to create collapsible navigation on a web page, and they show an example of it here. Right there. All right. It can be a way to jump to different parts, different documents, or different parts of the same document. So again, in this hour, we talked a little bit about collapse and accordion. As far as our Q&A that's here, 
The Q&A starts on page 320. It's all on 325. And there's three questions. Number one, why didn't you use the Bootstrap Button JS plugin to change the state of the button in the blog post? Try it yourself. The author mentions here that one of the drawbacks of using the Button Bootstrap plugin is that you can only use one plugin per element as a time at a time. We talked about this before, unless you do some wrapping. So this makes it a little bit easier. Number two, I'm updating an older site that uses Bootstrap and the accordions don't work in IE9. What can I do? It says chances are good that this site is using an older version of Bootstrap. Bootstrap 3 accordions will work in IE9. But remember one thing. I believe that Bootstrap 4 is not providing it's not going to provide, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, support for IE8 and possibly also IE9 Bootstrap 4. All right. Finally, I want to, wanted to add an icon to my headings to indicate whether the element is open or closed, but when I add it, it never changes. How to fix that? Notice you have to add your own custom script, and the author gives you an example right here. All right. As far as the quiz on pages... 326 and 327. Number one. True or false? To create a collapsible section, all you need is the collapse.js plugin. False. You also need the transition plugin and you need to have jQuery loaded as well. Number two. How can you make a collapse section visible on the first load? The answer is D. Add the class dot in to the element. Number three, what is wrong with this trigger element HTML code? Trick question. The answer is D. It should work fine as it is. Number four, how can you change the button text after it has triggered a collapse? The answer is C. You must write custom JavaScript. Number five, which of the following is not a class added by the collapse plugin? The answer is a.active. Number six, does Bootstrap allow for elements to collapse horizontally? The answer is B, yes, it's built in using the with class, but you have to write your own transitions. Number seven, what does the parent option do? The answer is C, it defines the container element of an accordion. Number eight, true or false, an accordion will Close an open section when opening a new section. That's true. That's what makes it an accordion. Number nine, true or false, an accordion must have the pound accordion ID to work. It's false. Typically, you'd want to use something like that, but you could use anything. Finally, number 10, which of the following can be used for accordion menus? The answer is B, list groups. So again, we have finished another chapter so when I come back again, we will be going over next chapter 20, which will finish section 3 of the book. Again, chapter 20 is on carousels, and I'll be back with that shortly.